Nathan, you're on the air. No, no pressure. serving as Matt's best man. Um, for those that don't know much about mine and Matt's relationship, I'll fill you in a bit. I actually first met Matt when I was born. <laughs> you see, I, I, I'm the youngest brother, which means... I know, I'm the youngest brother, which means I've been looking up to him my entire life. Uh, insert short joke. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get right into a story, and I've not really told this story publicly yet. Samantha's really the only person I've ever told this to. Um, so, you see, there's about a six-year age gap between me and my brother. Uh, so, when I was 10, Matt was 16, um, there were two things about my 16-year-old brother that I was truly enamored by. Um, I thought these two things made him the coolest guy in the world. Um, <laughs> And I could not wait until they both happened to me. The first thing was braces, which clearly never happened. <laughs> the next was acne. So thank God that never happened either. <laughs> so fast forward to today, even without the braces or the acne. <laughs> I still look up to you, Matt. And I'm very thankful I get to share this special day with you and Andrew. <laughs> As we are here tonight celebrating Matt moving on to the next stage of his life, I just want to let you know I am still proud to be your brother. You are one of the best guys I know, and I thank God for allowing us to be brothers. Oh. Helping build my sense of humor and giving me an ego boost along the way, <laughs> you've helped shape me into the man that I am today. Angie, you look absolutely beautiful today. We are happy you are joining our family and are thrilled to watch your love continue to blossom. It's been said you don't marry the person you can live with, rather you marry the person you, can, you can't live without, which is exactly what Matt and Angie have done. So to my brother, my friend, and his new wife, which is my new sister, Let's raise our glasses, which we don't have any, <laughs> to love, laughter, and happily ever after. As the great poet once said, I may not be a smart man, but I know what love is. <laughs> to, to Mr. and Mrs. Mock.